I'm Betty Lee. I'm 70. When I was 30, I was um, striving and trying and maybe not believing in myself. And I, there was, everything was out there. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do, maybe this is who I should be or maybe that's who I should be. And by 70, you should know who you are and you just live being that person. Funny, when I was 30, I was very insecure about stupid things, worrying about my stomach sticking out. I don't know what, but silly things. And now I'm, how I look is very much dependent on how I live, which is I exercise and I eat right and I'm happy and I sleep well. And I think I look pretty good. <laughs> Actually, I don't have those little, what if my stomach sticks out, or what if this happens, or my nose. Or, at a certain point, you go, if, if you're glowing and you're happy and people smile when they walk down the street, that that's, means a lot. I'm the Studio 54 generation. I mean, we would dance till 4 o'clock in the morning. I, mean, I don't even know what to say, which is wild, and everybody went out and guys dressed like women, girls dressed like guys. I mean, it was just like so free and so amazing. And then I married, and then you kind of can't do that situation. And I think maybe I still wanted to do that. So I got divorced. All the time I had such a, a free, wonderful feeling about who I was with. I mean, it wasn't just indiscriminate, but then it really started. Then people were like dopey and I didn't want to be with them, and I was taking myself more ser seriously. And I thought, nah, I don't want to do that. And, and then all of a sudden, and, like sex and love meet. <laughs> and they say, yeah, this is possible. And that is just a beautiful, that's love. Still having that glow and caring about and not, can't wait to see. I have that 100%. <laughs> with my first boyfriend from high school. <laughs> now. Now. So how do I feel with Michael um, now, at 70 years old, um, as com in comparison to how I felt about him when I was 16? And I would say it's the same. <laughs> when you find things in life that really matter, all that preoccupation with how you look, goes out the window. That's not to say you don't want to look great and you don't want to look energetic and happy and vibrant. I take a lot of pride in the fact that I do because <laughs> I am. I'm curious and what does that have to do with aging? It was just awful worrying all the time and not believing in myself for, I knew better. There's just so much more that I had to offer than what I looked like. As your life progresses, um, what happens is that some of that stuff just, you see the, the folly of it, and you see other people doing it, you think, that's not all they have to offer in this world. I was actually at uh, the gym, and I was exercising, and you know, and I'm gonna rule the world kind of exercising and listening to music, and I looked in the mirror over here, and I thought, well, that's a woman of a certain age, but that's who I am. And it's so much easier to accept who you are. <laughs> Honestly and truly, it is so much easier to say, this is who I am, I'm of a certain age, and it's so much dependent on how you feel inside. Like I let my hair grow gray because I looked at myself one day and I thought, this is ridiculous, I'm making it dark brown. and. And that as soon as I accepted a woman of a certain age, I have gray hair and it's pretty, and my skin should look pretty. That's the amazing thing. For years and years, I was so invested in skin care. I worked on home shopping television. I'd shop, and again, as I say with my kids, everything was non-toxic. These Boom products are so pure and so effective they're not pretending that they're gonna change the world because nothing really is. But what they do is they deliver. I mean, my skin is moisturized. It 
it feels good. It feels like it glows. It glows when I go to bed at night after I put on the moisturizer. And during the day, I put on the, the glow stick and it, it's alive. And um, I have to say that most of my girlfriends have been saying to me, have you used Boom? Have you used Boom? Have you used Boom? Here, this is it. This is Boom. You've got to get it. You've got to get it. You're going to love Cindy Joseph. They're like devoted to her and they're devoted to this product. So I love using them. They, they make sense. You know, the thing about aging is that it's not the monster and it's not your enemy. It's a progression. If you are lucky, all of you or any of you, and you become 70 years old and you walk 11 miles a day and you have friends and interests and you've hit the jackpot, it's not the end. You've hit the jackpot.